The shit streak for the three best prop bets continues. And this past weekend, Marcin Tabura by sub at plus 90 had some spots with the amount of ground control and damage he was able to get dish out. But ultimately, it was the cuts that ended up causing the stoppage there. So it was a KO and not a submission. We ripped that up. Michael Chandler, by knocking out plus 390, has near spots of hitting in that fifth round, but he's unable to get the job done there. And then John Jones, by submission, plus 220. Not as keen on getting the fight to the ground outside of that first round of you know something i wasn't really expecting but it seemed he was like very comfortable in the striking realm which obviously led to that spinning back kick uh finish that he got at the ending of the third round so we have to rip up that ticket there and then uh, veronica hardy by submission at plus 1800 uh she just couldn't get started you know i was very surprised uh credit to eduardo Mora for making the improvements that she did uh being a little bit more comfortable in the striking realm rather than just desperately looking for takedowns uh and i think that led to her having a much better performance that we've seen in the past ultimately causing us to rip up our long shot ticket there so we're back at it this weekend hoping that we can get back on the track uh, again I, I it's been a few weeks now since we've been able to hit some of these uh, again it, it's tough when you're picking only three out of the endless amount of props that are available to you i'm only able to give you guys three and then one long shot as well uh, we're hitting props but again not choosing the best ones to, to credit to you guys here. So you can fade them however you want to fade them based on the record that I have with my uh, best prop bets at this point in time. Long shots are profitable, obviously hitting about six or seven of them this year has got me firmly in the profit there but not so much the three best prop bets. So let's see if we can get back on track this weekend here. All right, first one up. Carlos Hernandez by submission at plus 420 as he goes up against Nyamdrigal to Mendembarao. The Mongolian fighter is a reckless and chaotic fighter, but I believe Hernandez's discipline and technical advantages will allow him to get the better of to Mendembarao. Uh, ultimately on the mat where I believe uh, Hernandez will have the most success and I think he'll eventually be able to get the back of Tumen Dembro and eventually find that rear naked choke which is why at plus 420 I love that line even his money line which is coming down to about that minus 165 range at the time of this taping I like that spot as well, but let's get a little bit greedier there and try to go for that submission prop at plus 420. All right, second best prop bet is going to be in the Road to UFC flyweight finale. As we go with Kiro Sohota coming uh, by decision at plus 210. Uh, it's been pretty much a pick em over the last few days, but he is starting to take some action now, coming in around minus 120. But I believe his best path to victory is going to be by decision at plus 210. His 5 inch height advantage and 7 inch reach advantage will allow him to operate at distance and utilize his volume heavy approach, which has gotten him success in the past. He'll have to be a little bit wary about the leg kicks and speed advantage that uh, Choi will have in the opening uh, round and a half or so of this fight. But after that, I think we'll see Sohota do a a great job in terms of busting up the nose and landing those straight shots down the pipe maybe even some elbows as well if they end up in the clinch but i do believe sohota's volume and output will be the difference maker here and that will allow him to pick up this victory by decision which at plus 210 again worth a shot in my opinion all right third best prop bet here is going to be song kanan by knockout at plus 550 as he goes up against the 40 year old muslim salikov who did pick up a split decision victory last time around against another aging veteran and santiago panzanibio but he is two and three over his last five fights being knocked out in two of them and i believe song kanan at 34 years old is more than capable of exposing that durability of muslim salikov once again look for him to counter him effectively shut down the spinning back kick game of salikov and eventually land that ultimate blow Low, probably in the second round as Salikov starts making some mistakes. So give me Song Kanan by knockout at plus 550. The long shot we're going to go with here is a couple round props. So again, not just one, but a little bit of a sprinkle over the three here. Unless you have access to a book that allows you to parlay round three, round four, round five together. Uh, but we're going to go Piotr Jan, round three, plus 1,300, round four, plus 1,500, and round five, plus 1,800. You can throw in the KO there as well, which adds about, uh, I think it's about plus 1,400, plus 1,600, and plus 2,000. You're able to do that. I'd kind of be surprised if he takes a, a submission heavy approach here i think we'll see a classic purity on performance where he starts off a little bit slow but starts picking up steam in the second and third rounds and that from there he should be able to open up uh some finishing opportunities as figueredo starts to slow down and that will ultimately lead to a tko victory for Jan. as long as that happens in round three four or five i'm happy there you guys go. Three best prop bets and a long shot for UFC Macau. Reminder, it starts at 3 a.m. Eastern time. So it is nice and early on Saturday morning for you guys. Um, 
that's a wrap on the UFC Macau content. Uh, again, next week, uh, there is no UFC event, but there is the PFL Championships event where we uh, have the culmination of the entire PFL season. Uh, I'll be doing a full car breakdown for that. Probably drop it on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday at the latest, but I will have you guys covered for that here on the YouTube channel. Uh, and then we'll be back for UFC breakdowns the following week as the UFC heads down to, uh, I believe it's UFC, yeah, UFC 3. 10 uh, headlined by the flyway matchup between Alexandre Pantoja and Kai Asakura and then the five round Coleman event number one contender fight in the welterweight division between Shavkat Rachmanov and Ian Machado Gary all right good luck on all your action this weekend folks and I'll see you guys next weekend for PFL championships see you guys then peace